Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to take you through some of the mods we've done. We have a ton more to do. We actually have things on the way being shipped from Amazon currently, but we'll get to those in another video. But we want to show you the progress so far in our Winnebago Echo. One of our very first mods that we knew we were going to do was putting an extra shelf in a couple of our cabinets. So let me show you what Neil did in here. As you can see, this is a really tall cabinet and it did not come with this little shelf that he installed in here. So now we have so much extra space and we can put double the amount of things in here. So that's such a good mod that we did. And we actually did it in not one, but two of our cabinets. So I'll show you the other one as well. So over above the kitchen area, we also have another really tall cabinet. So we want Wanted to maximize the space in here so Neil also installed the same type of shelf system in here and so now we can do double duty in here and put more stuff in here and hopefully Winnebago in the future will do this automatically but this was an absolute game changer especially for us being partially full-time in our rig and as you guys can see we used uh, adjustable brackets so we will link everything in the description that we used but you can see these right here are the adjustable brackets they're like the ones that come standard in this area down here uh, by Winnebago so like Brittany said they probably could uh, incorporate this in all the cabinets second mod that we did, something that's essential in almost any RV that you get, is we got the Van Essential fan cover. So easy peasy, it's magnetic. You just have to end up taking this part off and sticking those magnets on and then boom, just like that, you have a blackout cover for your fan. Absolutely essential and we love it and it's super cheap off of Amazon and it'll be linked down below. And that cover is insulated, so it is really essential for keeping heat from escaping through that roof vent or heat coming in from the sun because we have noticed it makes a huge difference. So this is probably the mod that I'm most excited about so far, and that is that we added a projector screen. Now there are hookups back here, so you could set up your own television and put it in the corner over here if that's what you wanted to do. But this, we wanted a bigger screen, and also this is so much lighter, and we don't have to worry about a TV somehow falling off if we are going on some back roads or whatever. So this has been incredible for us, and I mean, who doesn't want to watch a big projector screen? It just feels like we're in our own movie theater. So the projector is actually mounted right back here. Neil actually screwed it right into the cabinet, so it's not going anywhere. It's been on here for weeks now. So it's nice and perfect. We have it set up right where we need it to be. And it's small. So once again, we've kept it light in here and simple at the same time. So highly recommend if you want a game changer for your TV watching. And that's a swing arm too. So it's you can move it around. So if you need to adjust, if your projector doesn't have like a keynote adjustment or whatnot, to zoom in or out, you can use that arm to kind of get the correct placement. So out here in the Pacific Northwest, we've been dealing with actually some mold issues here in the RV because of all of the just air quality and the humidity out here. So we wanted to find a small dehumidifier, which we have set up right in the back right here. And it's been amazing. It doesn't move an inch. We just use mounting putty to keep it right here in the back. It stays right there. It works so well. It's super quiet and it's made a heck of a difference for us in here when it comes to dealing with any of the mold or anything like that. So happy to report that so far this is working great, at least in my opinion. You think so too, Neil? 
Yeah, because we're not really dealing with a mold yeah. issue. Yeah. Because of the dehumidifier, we spotted some mold starting to form in the cabinets yep, above here. the bed in the corners. Uh, we cleaned that thoroughly with some mold uh, cleaner. Then we also put some microbial spray on it to prevent mold. Mm -hmm. And then we constantly check it, and we have the dehumidifier, so it's it's working. And then right there in the middle, underneath the projector, you can see we have some anything keepers. So it's these baskets. They really should just include them. Yeah. Uh, these are the larger version. So we have that one right there in the middle. And then we actually, if I come back around here, you can see we have one right there. That's where we keep like the uh, Muna's medicine because she's on seizure medicine. Like she has unfortunately a, a seizure disorder. And then we keep like some of our medicines and stuff. And then the one back there is just a perfect spot to keep extra cords and Brittany's hair ties because the cat tries to attack them. So all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so that are right, those right there. Highly recommend them. So our latest modification probably my second favorite is that we added some i guess you could call them shelves slash baskets at the same time in our giant uh, cabinets underneath our beds so you guys have to see these down here it's a little bit different on both sides there's my side so these are alpha that makes these and they pull out, I have that one kind of full, but they pull right out. You can fill them right up. And that one is mounted in uh, because you can access the uh, access panel that you need to ever if you need to do any like electrical work on that side. This one right here, we actually don't have it mounted in. It stays in just by the weight. And then we actually used mounting putty down at the bottom. Mm -hmm. As you can see, like this one's actually off the it is off of it, off right, of it now. right now down here so we just mount it on there we pretty only put a little bit of mounting putty on there it honestly needs more yeah um and then we just let that one rest because there is a access panel back there to get to the water pump so that needs to be able to completely come out so we can get to that easily if we ever need to do a repair or check on anything or you know any of that good stuff so this Alpha system that we bought is actually pretty expensive. They were 30% off at the container store when we bought them. But for all of those products, they're usually about $200. So for some people, that might be a little much. They are good quality. There are obviously cheaper options. Uh, but just so you're aware of the price you're looking at if you're interested in doing that for your Echo. When we thought that those looked the most professional mm -hmm. and like stock, I guess you could say. Um, and they're just like, they're solid. They're going to hold up. So that's why we were willing to pay a little bit more for something like that other than like the plastic pullout bins. Or we were thinking of just putting shelves like we have in these upper cabinets. But uh, it was just the screwing in, the brackets, that wall right here on the bathroom. We didn't really want to screw into. Uh, just because you have the shower wall behind that and stuff. So didn't want to just impede on any of that. So this was just the easiest solution, the most professional looking, a little pricey though. So another mod that we did is we put the Mopeka uh, propane monitoring system on our two tanks that we have uh, down in the side of the Echo here on the passenger side. Uh, and then so that way we can monitor from an app. Uh, they connect via Bluetooth. Right here's the app. As you can see, we got our right tank is low, our left tank is full. And uh, it's just a quick, easy way. It sends me alerts if our tanks get low. Um, and I definitely recommend this. It's fairly accurate. It uses like sonic technology. You put the little, uh, I don't even know what you guys would call them, monitors on the bottom of the tank. They are magnetically stick to there. They send up like a sonic uh, signal wave, I guess, through the tank and it reads off uh, the amount of propane in there. And it's fairly accurate and it's been really beneficial here in the Pacific Northwest because we've had a weird, according to everybody that lives here, kind of weird colder weather. So it has uh, definitely helped out and we're very fortunate that this thing is pretty efficient. We get like, right now, even with really cold weather, uh, like in the 20s, um, 30s during the day, 20s at night, like seven days plus per tank. Uh, cooking, heating, uh, hot water, all that. So 
definitely recommend the Mopika system. And then the next mod that I'm going to show you is actually outside. Uh, this one, uh, kind of, I guess, a big deal for anybody with an Echo or the uh, Truma system that uh, you know, same Truma system that the Echo has, um, because in cold weather you can't be driving with that thing on. So let me go take you guys outside and show you that real quick in this rainy cold weather. All right, it may be a little windy right now, but uh, here is our Truma Aqua. And we actually installed the Truma Aqua Go electric uh, hot water uh, mod, I guess you could say. The unit for that is really easy to install. I'm not going to bore you guys with that. There's plenty of videos online about the install of that. But it's really quick and easy. You hook it up to your electrical, and then you can have your hot water heater on while driving and not worry about that flame going out if it was like on propane. So that, I feel like this is an essential mod for any echo owner or anybody with a true hot water system. And the next mod or addition, as you guys have seen in a recent video, is our Halo View uh, always on camera. It's stayed mounted there now, driving all over the place, down to California, everything. That is held on perfectly fine. I'm actually going to if you want to watch that video, it'll be like right up here or here on the screen. Uh, you guys can click on that and go to that video after you're done watching this video. So Brittany, what's the mod or mods in the works that we have shipping currently from Amazon? So I'm really excited about this. I'm not excited about actually doing it. With uh, me. <laughs> because I don't have patience. <laughs> Neil and I doing projects together were like total opposites. So we should actually put a put a camera up while we're doing that because it'd be really hilarious actually. Um, what we're going to do is we are putting peel and stick on our countertops. Well, not really peel and stick well, on the countertops. So I'll explain that. It's going to be mean, in a future video. It is. We're putting a new countertop. It is technically like parchment sticky paper made to redo countertops just because i know people will probably comment it's not peel and stick it's it's different close enough um we are doing peel and stick on our cabinets yep and we're also going to put a backsplash in our kitchen as well so we're going to totally transform this area uh, we're also going to try to put some gold trim around these different areas as well and totally change the color scheme in here uh, we didn't like this red layout in the first place but we didn't have a choice getting this echo we had to take it how it was so it's time to finally make it like home so we're excited to show you guys what this is going to look like real soon so there you go you heard it there's gonna be a video soon we're just waiting on amazon to get our stuff shipped to us it's currently in route so we will have lower upper cabinets new countertop all that good stuff uh very soon in a video coming up so stay tuned we're even going to do the kitchen table here the dinette table uh so in this area right down here by our uh well i guess our berkey Oh, that's an addition. Kind of a little <laughs> mod in yep. a sense too because of how we had to hook it up here to stay. Yeah so this is uh, just these bungees bungeed around to the seat. Um, we have seat covers on here so you can't see where it's actually wrapped around uh, but that's our, our Berkey which we recommend. So I guess that's an additional mod but uh, yeah so we're gonna get all this this uh, countertop right here underneath the Berkey everything in a video coming up very shortly. So we hope you guys have enjoyed seeing what our modifications are so far on our Winnebago Echo. So please, as always, consider subscribing to our channel. Drop a comment below. Let us know if you have any ideas for any modifications for us in the future. We would love to hear from you. And also, please give us a big thumbs up. We would really appreciate it. It helps us with all the YouTube algorithms, blah, blah, blah. We will see you guys real soon in our next video. See you guys next time. About to leave. Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know About 
to see 